Hello friends, in this video we will learn about insertion sort. Insertion sort is a simple in-place comparison based sorting algorithm and it maintains a sub-array which is always sorted and is built one element at a time by selecting each element and inserting it at its sorted position in the sorted sub-array. The time complexity of insertion sort in the best case is big O of n that is when the array is already sorted and in the average and worst case the time complexity is big O of n square with the space complexity of big O of 1. So let's see how insertion sort works by directly taking an example. Suppose we are given this array A and we have to sort this using insertion sort. So if we start with the first element, initially our sorted subarray has zero elements. Therefore, if we insert the first element in it, it will already be at its sorted position. So we can simply say that the element 5 is already sorted in the subarray. So we can start selecting elements one by one starting at index 1 that is with the second element and we can do this by using the variable i to traverse the array and we will use two more variables value and index where value will store the value of the selected element and the variable index would eventually contain the index where we have to insert the element in the sorted subarray and to obtain that index initially we will make index equal to the index of the selected element and the variable value will have the element 2. Next we will compare the selected element with elements in the sorted subarray and we will shift all the elements greater than the selected element one place to the right. And finally we will insert the selected element at its sorted position. Now we will compare the elements using our variable index. While index is greater than 0 and if the element at index minus 1 is greater than the selected element which is stored in value we will shift the element at index minus 1 one place to the right by making the value at index equal to the value at index minus 1 and then we will decrement index by 1 to move on to the next element in the sorted subarray and that's why we kept the condition while index is greater than 0 because when we are decrementing index we don't want to go out of the bounds of the array. So for the first selected element which is 2 we will compare the value at index minus 1 which is 5 and as 5 is greater than 2 we will make the value at index equal to the value at index minus 1. So now the index 1 would have the value 5 and in the next step we will subtract 1 from index therefore index will now point to the first element and now within our while loop the condition index should be greater than 0 is false as the index has the value 0. So after our loop ends, we will insert our selected element at the position pointed by index by simply copying the element in value at index. Therefore, the element at index now would be 2. Therefore, we have successfully inserted 2 in the sorted subarray. And now we will repeat this process for every element. So incrementing i by 1, we move on to the next element which is 3 and we equate index to i and store the selected element in value which is 3 and now again while index is greater than 0 we will compare the elements the element at index minus 1 is 5 which is greater than 3 so we will shift 5 one position to the right and we will decrement index by 1 and now again as index is greater than 0 we will again compare the values and the value at index minus 1 is 2 which is less than the value of the selected element which is 3 Therefore, we will end our while loop and insert the selected element which is 3 at index and now the elements 2, 3 and 5 are at their correct position in the sorted subarray. So again we will increment i by 1 to move on to the next element and we will equate index to i and store the value of the current element in the variable value which is 1 and now again we will compare the selected element with the elements in the sorted subarray. So firstly the element at index minus 1 which is 5 is greater than 1 therefore we will shift 5 1 position to the right by copying the element at index minus 1 at index and now we will decrement the index by 1 and again compare the value at index minus 1 with our selected element and as the value at index minus 1 which is 3 is greater than 1 we will again shift 3 1 position to the right and decrement index by 1 now again comparing the values at index minus 1 which is 2 and as 2 is greater than 1 we will shift to 1 position to the right and again decrement index by 1 
Now the condition that index should be greater than 0 is false. So our loop will end and we will insert the element 1 at the position pointed by index. Therefore, now the elements 1, 2, 3 and 5 are at their correct position in the sorted subarray. And moving on to the next element, we will equate index to i and we will store the element 6 in value. And now if we compare the value at index minus 1 which is 5 and as 5 is less than 6, the condition for our loop to run becomes false. This means that the element 6 is already at its sorted position. And moving on to the last element, we equate index to i and store the element 4 in value. And now again comparing the value at index minus 1 which is 6. And as 6 is greater than 4, we will shift 6 one position to the right and decrement index by 1. And now again comparing the value at index minus 1 which is 5. And as 5 is greater than 4, we will shift 5 one position to the right and decrement index by 1. And now the value at index minus 1 is 3. And as 3 is less than 4, our loop would end, which means that we have to insert the value 4 at index 3 in the array. And we have successfully sorted our array using insertion sort. So now let's implement this using C++. We start our insertion sort function, which takes in as argument an array A and an integer n which is the number of elements in the array. Next we declare our variables i value and index. Then we start traversing the array from index 1 because the first element will already be at its correct position in the sorted subarray. And firstly in this loop we will store the selected element in value and make index equal to the index of the selected element which is i. Next we will start our while loop until index is greater than 0 and the element at index minus 1 is greater than the selected element. We will shift the element 1 position to the right by copying the element at index minus 1 at index and then we will decrement index by 1. And when the loop ends, we will insert the selected element at its correct position in the sorted subarray. And we will repeat this process for every element. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching.